Hey there, Beaver Island Group. It's Mr. Grable. I wanted to share with you some thoughts of uh, some of the things that I would have talked about in homeroom um, lessons. Not homeroom, I'm sorry. Rec period lessons. About Beaver Island in general. And what I want to look at first is something that most people um, associate with Beaver Island. And that is snakes. Now, there's snakes on Beaver Island, just like there is everywhere else in the world. Not everywhere, but around Michigan. Uh, it's a little bit different on Beaver, though. There's not as many predators. It's a different uh, thing, and it's called Island Effect. Um, there's a lot of water snakes on Beaver. There's a lot of garter snakes on Beaver. Um, there isn't nearly the predators that there are on the mainland. Um, and I love hunting for snakes on beaver for one main reason. There's nothing up there that's dangerous to humans. Um, so I want to quickly run through the species of snakes that we'll encounter there, or we should encounter, and a couple that are a little mysterious. The, ones, uh, the first one I want to talk about is probably the one we're going to see the most, and that's the uh, garter snake. Not garden snake and not gardener snake. They do not raise vegetables or flowers. They um, are called garter snakes and uh, they are in a lot of different habitats on beaver and we'll definitely see a lot of them. Um, closely related to garter snakes are ribbon snakes, colored very similarly. They're a little slimmer their tail is longer, the stripes are set higher on the body than they are on the garter snake. And boy are they fast. Another, um, the heaviest snake that we'll find, and they're real common along the lake shore, are called uh, uh, water snakes, northern water snakes. And these guys uh, are tough to catch stumbling through the rocks. Um, but uh, there's some really spectacular results when we do catch them. Um, let's see. So we've got garter snakes, ribbon snakes, and water snakes. Another one that we're definitely going to see, and probably see a lot of, is the ringneck snake. These are small snakes. An adult probably doesn't go much more than uh, that long. And uh, they are kind of grayish color on their back orange on their belly, and they have, as you might expect, a ring around their neck. We'll find them typically under boards. Yeah, Ready, set, go. Oh, oh dang! Oh, oh, three, oh, three, oh, three, three. three. Where did the three. other one go? Behind. Right there. The other one that we find under boards most of the time is the red belly snake. He's the smallest of this group. He's only, uh, only, I've only found them under boards. They're kind of brownish gray in the back and bright red on their belly. I don't have a real good picture that I took of a red belly snake. Maybe we'll have to remedy that this year. One of the most beautiful, in my opinion, is a smooth green snake. A smooth green snake um, is smooth, and we'll talk about what, what that means later but it is definitely green as well and boy are these things hard to spot in the grass they are just beautiful little snakes though where are we did i get to seven yet the garter snake ribbon snake water snake ringneck snake red belly snake the smooth green snake and finally the eastern milk snake the eastern milk snake has for the past 20 some years proven to be the one that is the most difficult to find for some reason i don't know why they have a checkerboard pattern on their bellies and uh they are a constrictor they are not a constrictor of people they're a constrictor of their prey now there's two others that uh It'd be kind of like saying uh, we're going to go hunting for Bigfoot. Maybe it's out there, maybe it's not. The western fox snake has been reported on beaver several times in the past few years. And one of my friends found a 
brown snake, which we have around here in Noego County, a brown snake on one of the neighboring islands. So we'll see. But uh, um, what we will participate in is what my friend Mr. Wynn from the high school called the Quest for Seven. It's bragging rights to being a group that finds all seven species of snakes. All right, until next time, I'll talk to you later.